Today's Gotcha Life mini movie is called Why Her Not Me. So this story is by Lily Trescott MSP. So I'll have the original in the description down below. And I am here with Dice Roll. <laughs> Hi guys. So make sure to check out his channel as well. But let's go ahead and get this started. But, but mommy, what if I don't like the school? Oh, Harriet, you're exactly like me when I was your age. It's okay to be nervous, but trust me, school will be great. It may be rough in the beginning, but it'll get better. School is where you'll meet your closest friends, where you'll learn new things, Things, and where you'll meet your future Prince Charming. I mean, school is where I met Daddy. But Mom, boys are icky. Oh, you'll surely grow out of that face soon. Now look, there's some kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go introduce yourself to them? Uh, but what if they don't like me? Of course they will. Your personality is amazing. Now, Mommy needs to go to work. Bye, Harriet. Bye, Mommy. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Uh, hi. Who are you? My name's Harriet. What's yours? My... That's none of your business. Sorry. Uh, well, what do you want? Well, I wanted to ask if I could play with you guys. <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> but scram. <laughs> Bye, Mommy. <laughs> I'm so sorry for bumping into you. I apologize for disturbing you. I'll go. No, don't go. Here, let me help you up. Nice to meet you. I'm Kylan. Uh, nice to meet you, too. I'm Harriet. Are you new here? Yeah, it's my first day at school. Do you have any friends to play with? Uh, mm -mm. Then I'll be your friend. Really? But... Why would you want to be friends with a loser? A loser? You're not a loser. You seem like a great person. Really? Of course. Now let's play. Tag. Uh, You're it. Uh, oh, it's on. And that was how our relationship began. And soon, by primary school, we were already inseparable. We were the bestest of friends. We'd hang out and play with each other all the time. He'd even defend me from the mean girls. Why do you keep blocking the hall? Way. We were just talking. Ugh, I don't care. Just go. No. Uh, what do you mean, no? No, we're not going to move. But you have to. Why? Uh, because I said so. They're right. Let's just go. No. Why should we take quarters from some kid who doesn't even know their six time tables yet? Uh, <laughs> Wesson, Hannah, let's go. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> He'd always be there for me and I'd always be there for him. And by the time high school came along, we were even closer. Though we did break out of our tight friendship shell and met other people. And we became best friends with a lot of new and interesting people. I ship. <laughs> Says you two. We all ship you two. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they'd always ship us together. And to be honest, I shipped us too. I really liked him and I was sure he liked me too. Oh, would you look at that? But regardless, I avoided getting into any sort of relationship like that with him all throughout high school. It's time for class. Gotta go. There's still 30 minutes left till class. Why do I always avoid getting into lovey-dovey relationship with him exactly? <sighs> Because I didn't want to ruin the amazing relationship we already had as friends. For instance, we were always there for each other, no matter what. Anything I went through, he'd go through it too. Uh, are you okay? Nope. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> now I felt just like you. <laughs> and you made me fall again, you little... And anything he went through, I'd go through it too. Can anyone tell me what the triangular formula for momentum is? <laughs> Kylan! Ah! <laughs> Why are you on your phone in class? Uh, what phone? Uh, it's literally in your hands. Uh, <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is, this is, uh, it isn't. Are you seriously acting like I just didn't see you put it in your pocket? What bucket? I don't have any buckets. Uh, detention! <laughs> That's not fair. He should be able to use his phone if he wants. It's a humanitarian right to detention to you too. My parents were also so used to him around he was like a son to them anywho soon high school was coming to an end and prom was near and kylan asked me to go with him will you go to prom with me of course i said yes and yeah prom was amazing but soon that was over and graduation came around Harriet Frances Michaels. <gasps> 
Jesse Paisley Williams. After graduation's over, can you meet me at the back of the school? Uh, sure. But why? Thank you, class of 2020. Uh, Kylan, what do you want to tell me? Uh, <laughs> what the? Harriet, will you go out with me? Uh, of course. And that's when our real relationship started. And once college came around, we broke the news to our friends. But they weren't too surprised to find out since they all had the same news they wanted to share. I guess we're all on the same page then. College was great. The parties were fun. Our relationship was wonderful. And the classes were meh. And once we earned our degrees, we set out to find jobs. I started working in a law firm. And since Kylan's dad was already retiring, he made Kylan the CEO of his insurance company. And eventually, we saved enough money to buy a house and move in together. It was amazing. Almost too good to be true. Our whole relationship was amazing. So as you've seen, we've been through a lot together. That's why I'm patiently just waiting for the next and last step in our relationship for us to get married. I can't wait for our lives to progress, for us to have kids, be a family. I can't wait for it all. Many of my friends have already gotten married too. Sometimes I do wonder, why hasn't he proposed to me yet as well? But then I remember, we're only 26, so we have plenty of time left. And I know we will get married. There's no doubt about that. We've known each other for 20 years, been dating for eight. We've been through so much together and we'll only go through more. And I can't wait to carry on my life with him. I just can't wait. One year later. Uh, hello? Can I help you? Sorry, I'm a bit lost on where to go. I was just hired here yesterday, so I'm still not sure where my office is located. The information sheet I was given saying it's in room 3B. My office is in room 3B. You must be my new co-worker that boss was telling me about. What's your name? Craig. Well, Craig, I'm Harriet, and from now on, we'll be sharing an office together and you'll be working with me. Let me show you around. No, it's fine. All I wanted to know is where is room 3B? Uh, and uh, this is our office. Uh, thanks. So now we have a ton of work to do. Here you go. That's it? Nope. Uh, 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 that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And... Ah, done. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, finally. And we still have 10 minutes left to spare. Why don't we spend this time getting to know each other a little? Sure. Well, I'm Craig and I just moved to the city here with my girlfriend. We finally got a place of our own together. And now I've got a job and she's looking for one. And I hope one day, once we both have stable jobs and comfortable living here, I'll be able to propose to her and we can progress our lives together. Oh, that's so sweet. You guys sound just like me and my boyfriend. We moved here, bought a house, moved in together, and started working too. And now we're going to get married soon as well. Oh, so you're engaged? Uh, well, not yet. But he's going to propose to me soon. He told you that? Uh, but aren't proposals supposed to be surprises? Well, he didn't tell me that he's going to propose. But I know he's going to propose to me soon. I can feel it. What, what if he doesn't? What if he doesn't propose. Of course he will. You don't understand the sort of relationship we have together. We've known each other for 20 years, been dating for eight. We're definitely going to get married soon. There it is, Greg. It's 4.30 p.m. Your shift is now over. Well, our shift is over. I'll see you on Monday. Hey, babe. <laughs> Uh, babe? Are you okay? Not really. What's wrong? I mean, it's a bit silly, but... <sighs> babe, you know you can tell me anything. I won't judge you. Well... Work has been really stressful lately. Having to run a whole company, complete paperwork, go to business meetings. It's a lot to handle alone. I wish I could help, babe, but I have a job myself, so I can't do anything. It's fine. <sighs> it kills me to see him so exhausted and sad. If there was only some way to help. <gasps> babe, you should get an assistant. An assistant? <laughs> Many CEOs have one. It really helps them do their job quicker and eases the stress. I'm not sure. Uh, come on. You don't want to be stressed over work for the rest of your life, do you? Plus, if you have an assistant to help you out, you can finish your shift earlier. And that means we can spend more free time together. I guess you're right. I should set up some job interviews for tomorrow. But first, you should get some rest. You're extremely exhausted. Fine. Night, babe. Uh, I should probably go get some sleep, too. Uh, 
They're getting married? That's great, I guess. <sighs> I wonder when Kylan will propose to me. I should just stop stressing out over this. I'm sure he's planning on proposing to me soon. The following week was like a regime. I'd wake up at 8 a.m. <sighs> Kylan would already be at work by this time. Get dressed, get my daily coffee, go to work, and start working. But for some reason, my coworker Craig wasn't there for the whole week. But it didn't concern me too too much since he only worked here once before. I was already used to working by myself anyways. I've been doing it for a year now. And then after work, I'd return home to Kylan. Then we'd have dinner and finally go to sleep. And that was my daily routine for this whole week and has been for the past year now. Till one fateful day. Gosh, why does work have to start so early in the morning? Ugh. Craig, good to see you again. Huh? Where have you been this past week? <laughs> Just went through some stuff. Stuff? My girlfriend broke up with me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Craig. She didn't deserve you anyway. I'm sure someone better will come along. No, no one better will come along. She was my first and last girlfriend. After seeing she left for some richer guy, it really made me realize love is futile. What's the point of falling in love with people if they're just going to disappoint you? Oh, come on. Don't be a Debbie Downer. If you find the right person, love will never disappoint you. Uh... Hey, babe, could you come over to my company building? I really want to show you you something. Uh, like now! Because my boyfriend just asked me to come over so he can propose to me! Here's my number! I'll text you once I'm home and tell you how it went! But we still need to go to work! Bye! Uh... Babe, what did you want to- uh...